Hello everybody, welcome to episode four of my pet portraits in different styles. Today we're gonna to be doing pet portraits in my colorful splashy style here. I asked for you guys to post some pictures in one of the Procreate groups and I chose the Dash Hound because he's very symmetrical, easy lines. It'll be easy to show you the color differences and how to use them. Um, for the tutorial, I did make a palette of colors just to make it easy for you guys. I will add the hexadecimals in the comments so you can use the same color palette. When you do that, you would create a new palette right here. You would go to create new palette. You would go to value. And right here it says hexadecimal. And the numbers that I put, you would click, you would type that in, the hashtag and the numbers and letters for every color. When you do that, it will add that color directly to your new palette. So you can start with that. I'm going to paint the palette colors on here. If you don't know how to do the sketch of your dog like this, go to episode one and I do a tutorial on how to get your dog sketched like this. So just for our brushes today, we're using Trailhead Company um, watercolor brush set. It's only the one brush set, just watercolors. It has brushes, splatters, and washes. I'm going to paint our colors on here so you guys can see them. To start. When I do these, sometimes I use slightly different colors and shades, but since this is a tutorial, I want you guys to be able to follow along. I'm sticking with this palette right here. You don't have to use all of these colors. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. Those are the colors we're gonna be using. Okay. And to start, we're going to do our basic color, or first we're going to make your canvas a light shade of gray. Create a new layer. Go to your brushes that we're using. Go to the sketch pencil. Turn it down to about 4%. We're on a 2,500 by 2,500 canvas. So 24% on that size canvas. We're going to go to the classic. And you're gonna pull all the way up to the top left to get pure white. And we're going to sketch in his highlights. So I think he's, let's make it a little, actually we're gonna make it a little bit bigger here. There we go. Let's actually go to 25%. All right, let's do 25. So we're gonna sketch in the highlights, where we think the highlights of his ears are, his body. Get some highlights up here. Highlights under his eyes. Highlights over the nose. Put on top of the nose. This area under the nose. And let's get some highlights on his cheeks. Highlight his lip. And we're gonna highlight his shoulders. Like that. Now you can see we have our highlights. Now we're gonna turn our canvas back to pure white. And we're going to create a new layer. Our new layer you want underneath of your sketch layer. Go underneath our sketch layer. We're gonna go to our brushes that we're using. And we're gonna go all the way down to the intense wash. The intense wash. That's the wash I like to use. You can use whatever wash you like. This is just the one I prefer for this style. And you can start with any color. I, Before you start, I would avoid doing purples around the eyes so it doesn't look like their eyes are bruised. So I do lighter colors or just a solid blue or a solid orange or pink. So I like to start with my blue. So to color pick, you hold your finger down and color pick your color. If you put them on here with a painting brush, it's much easier than going in here and picking every time. So I color picked our blue. Let's see what size it is. Okay. So when you do this, you want to make sure you don't do 
like that. You want to do circles. You always want to keep it doing circles here, okay? And you don't want to do a circle, lift your brush, do another circle, because you will get overlap of the color since it is a watercolor. Okay. So let's start. We're just going to start blocking out where, the, right now we're placing our colors where we want them to end up being, okay? So we want, let's see, let's do some blue. You can do however you want. But when you do this, you want to kind of make sure that it's symmetrical on both sides if you're starting out. If you're not starting out, you know how to do this, you could play around with it. So do blue on that ear, and then we're gonna do some blue over here on this ear. I'll move it down a little bit, let's start right here. And you wanna keep doing your circles. That way you get that nice splotchy watercolor effect. Instead of just, so just lines, you're getting that nice effect here. Okay. Ears, and then the side of his head's gonna be a little bit darker, so I wanna do the blue on the darker spots. So let's do blue over here. Make sure you keep doing your circles and don't lift your brush. Do blue over there, and then I'm gonna take that blue and I'm gonna go all the way down over here because I want this area to be a little bit darker as well. And just make whatever patterns you would like to do. Make sure you keep doing circles and just make it look interesting, like it's actual watercolor. Don't want to perfectly fill in any of your lines. Okay. And I think I want to add some blue to his nose and mouth here. So this part sticks out more. That's why we sketched it like that. So those are going to be kind of highlights. Right now I want to do kind of the shadowy parts in blue. So I'm gonna do the top of the nose a little bit blue up here. And I'm gonna do the bottom. Do a little bit around that, a little bit right there. And then I'm gonna do down here. It's gonna be kind of blue and purple. I'm gonna pull that right out into this area that we sketched in. Make sure you don't lift your pencil. And I'm gonna pull that little bit on his lips here, like that. Then we want to have contrasting colors for each dimension. So this lip goes in, is underneath this. It goes in farther. So I don't want to have blue here and blue here. So that's going to be a different color. But then down here, it's farther back. It's more shadowy. So I'm going to add some blue down here. Like that. And that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go with, let's do some pink. doesn't really matter what colors you choose, like what to do after the blue. I just pick in whatever, so I'm going to do pink next, where I know I want the pink on the dog. So I know I want to have it on his lips over here. So I'm going to do that. Make sure you stay in circles. And you want to make sure... Some colors don't look good when they overlap. Obviously pink and blue with these shades and make this purple. Some of them make a weird brown, so you don't want to overlap those. So if you're worried about that, try to keep it inside of the lines and don't overlap it. If you don't want those colors mixing and making a weird brown color catastrophe here. Okay. So I'm going to leave a little bit of white. So you when we paint this, we're not going to paint in the entire dog. We're going to leave what's called negative space, where there's white. We don't want everything colored in, so we're gonna leave some negative space here, so that won't be colored in at all. And I wanna add some pink down here. Okay, some colors. Make sure you keep going in circles and just making irregular shapes with it. And then I want this whole side, I could do this side blue as well, but I wanna kinda do a different color over here. So I'm gonna do some pink over here. We are gonna color over these with other colors. So it's not going to just stay pink. Right now we're laying our first layer. And make some cool little signs with it. You can leave negative space here. It doesn't all have to be colored in. Okay. 
And I'm gonna add some pink to the nose for the highlights here. Get some pink over here. Get some pink over here. And some pink at top. Okay. Oops. Now I want my eyebrow area, a little bit of the nose, and the other eyebrow area. I'm going to make that all kind of a pinky and red color. Because we have blues on the outer edges for the shadows. The face sticks out, so I'm going to try to make that more highlighted. So I'm going to make those blue and reds and oranges. So I'm going to keep going in your circular motion. And follow your lines that we drew. Now you can see where we made the white lines are showing through. You don't have to do that. It's my personal preference. All right, oops. I lifted my brush, so I'm going to go back. Right. I go over the nose right here. I'm going to add a little bit of pink on these areas right here. I'm go over this way. Go down the nose. Now these pencils are pressure sensitive, so if you press more watercolors, they usually go lighter. If you pull less, they will go darker. Okay, so now we have our pink areas. These areas over here, I think I'm going to do a ready orange color. So I'm going to mix the pink, red, and orange. So I'm going to do a little bit of pink over there for right now. You're just going to have to play around and see how your colors match. When you mix colors, what colors they look like with these brushes. So when you're doing this, you kind of know what to expect. And make sure you're leaving negative space, which is just the white space that we're not painting in. Those are going to be like the super highlights where it's sticking out most. So top of his nose is super bright, you know, the top of his head, the very tops of his ears, probably pretty white. So we got our pink layer. Now let's do some, we could do green. Put a little bit of green in the ear over here. Uh, the green mixes with the blue pretty okay, but if you don't want that, you can make sure it goes on the inside like that. And just make your circles. The eye, I think it was fine just like this. Green over there. Then I'm going to do some green over here on this ear, just the same. Get that in there. Make sure you're doing your circles. I'm going to do some green on the top of the head over here. And then I have blue and pink, and I want to do a different color because this is where the neck meets it, the chin right here. I want to show that there's high contrast right here, so I'm going to put some green right there. And then put some green over here. Now the green and pink make that weird brown color, like that. Brown's my favorite color, but when I'm doing a watercolor pet portrait like this, I don't want to see a bunch of brown. So make sure you don't overlap those two colors here. Now if you guys can hear that, there's a horse and buggy going by. <laughs> hear the horse hooves clicking on the ground. All right, and then we're going to add some green down to this area over here. And just make sure you're making the unique little splotches with it. Keep going in circles. Don't pull your brush. Keep your brush down. Okay, so now let's put a little bit of green in his nose. Well, let's do a little bit right here. Okay. We have our green. So now how about let's go to some yellow. And I want to put some yellow and oranges in the areas I think 
the hot spots. So edge of the ears right here. I'm gonna put some oranges and reds right here and yellows. And we're gonna put some yellow on the tip of his nose and over here. So let's start with our ear. Put a little bit over here. We're still on one layer also, so keep that in mind. This is our first layer. This will be quite a few, maybe a couple layers, four or five layers when we're done. And we're gonna mirror that over here to this here. I'm gonna put some yellow over here. That. And I think I wanna add a little bit of yellow and oranges over to this area. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow over here. And the yellow and pink make a nice orange. And we're going to be duplicating this so that will be a lot more intense of a color. Because right now we're just laying the foundation of our colors down where we want the colors to end up landing. I want to add a little bit of yellow in this area, but I want to keep negative space where it sticks out the most, where there's not going to be any color. So I'm just going to stay on the inside right here. And go out. Do the same thing over here. And come out. And I'm going to do the nose right here. Just gonna add a little bit in the nose. And go up. And put a little bit on this green up here. And do a little bit on the green. And that's good for the yellow. Oh, I'm gonna put, let's put a little bit of yellow in his nose right here. Makes this pretty orange color. Okay. Now let's do some of our red. Or let's do orange here. Let's do some orange. Okay, I'm gonna put some orange on the cheeks and on the eyebrows and a little bit on the nose and on the ears. So I want this area to be a little bit darker because this is close to his head over here. And I'm gonna put some over here by his eye. And I'm gonna put some over here on his eyebrow. And I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side. Put some on his eyebrow in his eye and I'm gonna put some on the side of his head over here make sure you keep white as your negative space you don't want to color everything in okay now we're going to add some of that into the nose again to make this a brighter red in here brighter orange red I want some of that on his nose okay good that part. Now we're going to do the ears. So I'm going to add a little bit of the red or the orange into the yellow. But I don't want to cover up the yellow completely because I want to have different shades and different colors in here. And make sure you leave some white. And I'm going to add a little bit of the orange into the where we mix the yellow and the pink to get the orange. I'm going to make that more intense over here. Okay, and then let's go to our red. And I want the eyebrows to be super red because his eyebrows were a different color. So I'm going to make those a little bit more red. The tops, tops of his cheeks a little bit redder. So now this is just where we're shading in the dog, how we would have painted the dog in episode two. Now we're doing that with colors instead of natural colors of the dog. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. Make the top of the nose a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna go to the nose over here. Make that a little bit redder. Make some red. Okay, and then I wanna make this orange and yellow. I wanna make sure I leave some white space, but I wanna add a little bit of red in here.
And I want to add some red down here in this shadowy area over here where the neck is. Make sure you're making interesting patterns with it. Add a little bit over here. And his lip. That's our second layer of color right there. Uh, let's see. Purple. Let's add some purple. We're still on our second layer here. And add a little bit of purple to his lip and to his nose right here. I might add a little bit over here. over here. I need to color that in blue. I missed that. So let's color this side in blue over here. This is next to his head, so this is a shadowy part. It's going to be really dark, so we're going to make sure we get that in there. I'm going to add some purple to that. There's a tiny bit of purple over here. That's it. All right. There is our basis for a, our watercolor dog. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our layers and we're going to swipe left, swipe left on our layer. We're going to duplicate it. And then if you want, depending on how strong colors you would like, you can duplicate it again. There we go. Now we are going to add, we can merge all three of those layers in, create a new layer on top of our color layer, but underneath our sketch layer, we're going to add our details in here. So to add our details, we're going to go to our brushes. We're gonna go all the way, oh, stay on. Oops, all the way up here, we're gonna to go to the watercolor fine liner, and we are going to make that let's see 50% and 50%. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good, maybe a little bit. Let's do 70%, and let's do a little bit smaller. All right, so 70% opacity and about 35% size. Now we know where our colors are. We're just going to go in and add details and add more coloring in here. So let's see, let's add, get some orange. And I want to make this a little bit more orange over here. Blend it in a little bit with the colors. I want some more orange over here. Make the ears a little bit larger. I'm just adding my details in here. Make those a little bit more orange. Some orange over here. Now I'm going to take my light blue. I'm going to add some light blue over here. Let's change the opacity a little bit for down here. Let's go to 40% and 40%. Make it a little bit lighter down here. It goes up to the dark. And same with the ears. I'm going to go a little bit in the eyes. I'm just adding my details. Now that we have our colors, we're just gonna add our details and blend a little bit here. Okay, and I want the nose up here to be more teal. This is a smooth line, so I'm going to use that. I would like to have, turn this up a little bit, turn that down. I'm going to line this, because I want this to be a little bit brighter right here. 
Yeah. Adding some dimension to his nose right here. Then I want to trace some of these lines right here. I want to add some more contrast to our other colors up there. So I'm going to trace them a little bit. Oops. And same thing for down by his lip over here. I'm going to trace that a little bit. And over here, make sure I get that. And his eyebrow right here, above his eyebrow, where it goes up, I'm going to add a little bit right there. Make sure you're not coloring in all of the white, white spaces. You want to make sure you leave some negative space here. Now this, you just do what you think looks best. Add your details to it. I want his ear to be a little bit more teal over here. And up here, let's add some more teal color. Okay. And I think I'm gonna add just maybe a little bit over here. Okay. Now what you can do after you get your colors in here, how you like them, create a new layer. And we can go all the way down. And there's a brush called the we go find it. The add water brush. So this will add water to our watercolor. We're going to color pick the white from the background. And we're going to make the brush pretty small here. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Let's do one percent. Okay. Make sure you create a new layer. And you can go in and make some more. edging around your colors to add more negative space if you need more negative space. Okay, so I want some more negative space over here. And I want to add some freckles right here. So I'm going to add just a couple little freckles with our adding water brush. And same with his nose. I'll add some freckles up here on his nose. And I want to let's see, maybe do a little bit on his eyebrow up here. Get those colors away from each other. Trace this line a little bit. Trace this line a little bit. Trace the hollows of his cheek. And maybe add some right over here by his neck. Doesn't look like it's all blended together here. Same with this side. And that, when you do this, it will also give you that watercolor texture. Instead of just erasing, it's giving you that watercolor texture. Let's add a little bit of highlight at the bottom of his ear here. Right. So there is your watercolor pet portrait. Now we're going to add the splatters. For these, you create a new layer, go to your splatters and your washes. Let's do our washes, I'll show you your washes. Grab a wash, you grab a color, you will color pick the color closest that you're adding the splatter to, or the splash, I'm color picking blue, create, make sure you create a new layer, splatter it. Go this way, then we're going to duplicate that three times or however many times you duplicated your colors, combine them together. You're going to selection tool it, you're going to go to warp, and when you drop a water, when you're doing painting, you drop all of your color is right there and you're going to take a straw and blow it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this look like it's a water drop by warping it like that. And then you can make it go out farther. We're going to alpha lock this, go to our brushes, 
we're going to go to our fine liner at the top and you don't want all one color you want it to be a gradient so we have dark blue so you're going to have dark at the bottom because that's where most of the pigment is and it's going to get lighter as it goes out so we alpha locked it and then we're going to make it a little bit lighter at the tips here like that you can see it's a little bit lighter it's not just one color now it's gradient and you can duplicate that, select it. We had warp on, so now we gotta go to uniform. Right here. And we are going to go like that. And you can erase it down here. Now you have a splatter. You can combine those, you can duplicate that, select it, put it wherever else you wanna have a splatter at. So I'm going to do it down here, like this. It's alpha locked, so now I'm going to pick the color over here by holding my finger down, and I'm going to color that in. And your most pig, most of your pigment is going to be at the bottom, where it starts. Let's push that in a little bit. And then I'm going to pick the other color, the lighter color I want to use, and put that at the top. You can make new splatters or you can duplicate it like I just did, however you want to do it. Okay. And I think that was on that layer right there. Let's erase that. Okay, now we're going to create a new layer and we're going to our splatters. We're going to go to Brush Flex 3, and we're going to do some Brush Flex, like that, and then create another layer, pick a lit color that's over there, let's do, let's do orange over here, like that, and we're going to do another layer, and we're going to do the same thing over here, so let's do some blue over there. You're going to combine those alpha lock them and then color pick the color closest to them go back to your brushes and you're going to color those in to whatever color is closest to them so then you have gradients with it same over here so we're going to do some blue oops we do a lighter blue here that orange And same thing down here. We have some teal over here, so we're gonna make some teal ones. Some purple and some red. Thanks. And you create a new layer. Go to your washes, go back to your drips. Pick a drip color that you want to do. Pop it on there and go like this. You're going to duplicate that, alpha lock it, make sure it's behind your watercolor layer and then you can, you're on alpha lock so go back to your brushes and you can color that in to make it look not so flat. And that is how we do our watercolor pet portraits. Thank you for watching. I'll do fuzzy dogs with all of these. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, you would turn off your background color and then you'd export this as a PNG if you want to do it on Tumblr or a t-shirt or you can export it as a JPEG. And thank you.